Okay, uh, let's do resistors in parallel. So to not make any further measurement, we will use those. Okay, and uh, let's say, as we know that we count like this. Okay, and then we will write all these values. One. Okay. By doing by this uh, with every kind of different values, uh, without making some the same close values, we will have a little longer counting but it will go and you will see how this goes since we all have all these different so we have to multiply all three of them and get number so 9.85 multiply with 9.87 point with 9.91 okay so we got 962.47 okay we'll go with this uh so uh, to get this number we got uh, 962.47 for seven then divided by nine Uh, we got 31 plus again we go 62.747 divided by 9.57 it's 97.51 and we got third one it will be 962.47 divided by 9.19 it is 722 okay so if we have a zero, 9 here let's add this one okay um, okay let's add this one plus 51 plus We got 299 292.44 so we don't need this paper anymore so from here we got that our equal is um, we just switch this values so it goes like this okay and let's see what we'll get here 962.47 divided by 222 by 44. Um, we got 3.29. Okay, kill. Okay, that is our value. So if we connect them in parallel, parallel as I have already done here, uh, then we have parallel. So this one is on the sketch and this one is a uh, on the board and let's check the value so we have 3.29 bigger than 2 kilos so it goes 22 kilos and let's check our value uh, okay it's 3.29 i hope you can see this okay so if we go uh, around any one of this one we got the same uh, value okay. that's the parallel in theory and practice uh, practical so by the end video we will see how that actually looks in schematic